What's up? <laughs> yeah, Wizard of Legend. Uh, I thought I did a video on this game, but I didn't. I had it a while back. I haven't played for a while. And I played yesterday, I was trying to make a video on it then, but then I got a phone call and it cut off my um, inspiration. But uh, yeah, this game is freaking amazing. And I was telling my cousin, I'm like, dude, it's $2 right now on GOG. You gotta get it, blah, blah, blah. I'll show you the video. And I didn't have a video. So I'm making the video right now. It's pretty awesome though. I highly recommend it. And even unhighly, I will still recommend it. It's very good. Um, you star as this little wizard, you could play two players and, and both of them will be different wizards. You could pick your um, outfit and each outfit has a different um, type of power. You gotta pay for these though using these this currency known as uh, Chaos Crystals. Each outfit has a different type of, um, what would we call that, some kind of boost. Like this one increases your signature charge and your signature damage. So your ultimate move is way stronger. And so on and so forth. But there's a bunch of colors and they're fun to use. The one I'm currently using lets me uh, pick up more money and crystals. So um, you can also save different loadouts right here because um, you could change your powers so for example right now my basic power is this one right my dash move is that one when it's cooling down um, it won't light up on fire and then I have my standard move which is this one and my signature move also, when you do a combo, or you charge up, or you pick up that blue crystal, it powers up your ultimate. Let me see. All right. So then, um, with your chaos crystals that you can see down there, right under my character, you can purchase moves. And uh, if you look at your basic, you have uh, five different elements, right? Under each element, you have four different moves. So there's uh, four different moves under each element, like I said, for a total of 20 moves for your basic attack and they're all different like they play differently as far as dashes it's the same thing you have 20 different dashes under each element and they are they're all different um, under your standard move you have a ton of stuff right like I don't I don't even want to count but look see it just keeps going and going like the, the bunny there's a gang of stuff in there and it's all different you know of course, each element works against a different element. For example, water versus fire, fire versus um, water, I don't know. You'd have to check it out yourself because there's like five different elements. Um, but yeah, a ton of moves. I like that Ken move right there, the Shoryuken, but they called it the Heroic Blaze right here. There's a bunch of stuff though. There's dragons and stuff. You could summon creatures and everything. Um, and then your signature moves as well. There's a ton of those under each element too. I haven't unlocked everything because they added some new stuff too. But yeah, there's a ton of stuff. And that means basically your combos, you can go crazy with your combos and do whatever you want. Try to mix your moves together. There's moves that hold your enemy. You can try to like perma stun them, stuff like that. You can do all kinds of things. You can summon a bunch of creatures to fight for you. Anyway, the chaos crystals let you buy things, right? Because you could take an item with you. So right now I got a bunch of items. I have um, 63 plus 59 plus 53 for a total of 175 nines. <laughs> I don't know. I can't do that that quick. But anyway, I have a bunch of stuff, and then you could buy more, and they all do different things. Then there's a bunch of moves that you could buy too. See, and uh, these will add to your spellbook here. There's a bunch of stuff like buying outfits, which I bought most of the ones I could buy, but I didn't beat the game yet because I was playing with my wife and we couldn't beat it. Um, you could do stuff with these different characters. They all give you like different things you can do. And there's some stuff here that I guess when you beat the game, you unlock weird stuff. So anyway, to start the game, you go in and it randomly picks a boss for you to fight. So you gotta do two levels and then you fight a boss. Two levels and you fight a boss. Two levels and you fight a boss and then you fight the ultimate bad guy right now. So let's get started. I'll do a quick demo and, and see how far I can get. If you move, 
like without stopping. Whoa, who can uh who can run? See? He starts running by himself. So since the levels are randomly generated oh shit. <laughs> but are randomly generated. Oh. Ah. Let me see what this is. Glacial Gateway. Oh, I unlocked the power. Check it out. Awesome. Sweet. Alright. So there's shops too where you could enhance your powers or just buy new ones. See, so now instead of just having four moves, since I found one, I have all, all these moves. I have five moves now. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to fight that boss right now. Uh-oh. Things are getting kind of chaotic here. Uh-oh. Oh. Like I said, if you make your combo big enough, you can start uh, unlocking like super moves that are more powerful like this one. Whoa, that was close. Almost got hit. Oh crap! <laughs> oh, I thought I left the level without trying. Sweet. Blaze drum. I don't know what that does, but let's keep moving. I'm trying to do it kind of fast so that I can just show off a lot of the game as fast as I can. I'll probably get killed by the boss though. You do have to keep on your toes though, the game is very uh, intense as you can see, but uh, it's very fun and it pays off to, to kick butt, you feel that burn, you know, whoa. Dumping enemies off of the ledges is probably like the quickest way to dispose of your enemy. Man, I'm doing pretty good right now, I think. For me, it's kind of hard to remember the, uh, the LB mode. Like I said, I just started playing again yesterday while I was trying to make this video. But, eh. Waiting for it to shoot. It's not down here. Ah, I can power up my move here. Awesome. Let's go this way and see what we can find on the other edge. Pretty wonky, right? Crazy game. Yeah, it's really fun. And two players is this fun. <laughs> it's like a lot of fun. You know, my wife doesn't like a lot of the games I play. I just think some more. And they are, for the most part, but I am. But I play some pretty nerdy games like Loop Hero and stuff like that. Oh shit, Game drawn. Oh, this tailor makes your outfit um, stronger, I think. Aw, oh, damn, it totally drained my health, though. Alright, so I'm gonna have to look for a shop so that I can get some health.
Alright, I got him good. I'm gonna have to look for that health though, like I said. Let me, uh... Oh, there's a treasure down here too. I didn't even see that. I think the health must be somewhere around here. There we go. It's not... Might be up here. Ah, there it is. Sail. I wonder what this thing is. Equipping Arcana of the same element. Ah, uh, that's not gonna help me. And let's get out of here. Alright, so I should get all my health back, because right before you fight a boss, you get some health. <laughs> Usually when I fight these bosses, I try to dodge all their crap. Whoa! Got a little bit of light there. <laughs> and there's a moment where they just start flossing on you, and that's like the best moment to kick their butt. Oh! Oh! Ah. Alright. Might be able to kick his. Oh, shiznit. Ah. Yeah. Oh! fight the bosses you start picking up powers see so now I have six powers pretty cool and you can do some pretty insane combos like if you get lucky and you get the right stuff let's just keep moving and then I'll just purchase some stuff at the end just for horn's sake as you fight the uh, the levels or whatever, and then you move forward. You, um, you start fighting stronger enemies. But you have more powers to spew at them, so I guess it kind of evens out. Alright, wasn't anything there. Also, when you dash, you take away that um, that speed enhancement that you get for just running. There we go. Oh, shit. But it's pretty cool because even if you die, um, you get to keep all the all that crystal that you that you find. What's this? Uh, max health is reduced, but damage is increased. Increased damage, but lowers the activation speed of all arcana. Signature charge rate decay. What's this? Increases armor, but sword prices are increased. Increases critical hit damage, but lowers critical hit chance. Bunch of crap. All right. Sometimes you find cool stuff though. Don't rule it out. Hmm. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, crap. Ah! I, I started going crazy pressing the wrong button. Damn it. But it's cool. I collected 66 gems, which is pretty good. Let me continue, and now I'll just purchase uh, a th some things so you can check that out, and I'll stop the video. Uh, I think I'm going to pick up a signature move, and a signature move. So let's go ahead and try that, the signature move out, and uh, I'll, I'll switch my basic too, just so you can see a bunch of different type of stuff. I'll go with uh, the bouncing fireballs, I'll go with 
one of the wind dashes like this one, whatever that is. And a standard move, I'll switch it over to uh, that, that water thing looked pretty cool actually. This, this one right here. Heroic Maelstrom. And let's check out that Earthquake Axe to see what it is. Alright. See? So the moves all change completely how you play. So. See, that one leaves some kind of like uh, Oh, that's awesome. Sweet. And let's check out another one. Another signature move before I go. I just want to see what I got, you know? <laughs> and, uh... Oh, okay. Whoa. Awesome. Okay. Oh, let me check that out in ultimate style. Oh, dude. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> Let's check out the last one. Whoa. All right. Normal. Oh, crazy. Ultimate. Last a lot longer. Sweet. And with that, I'll go ahead and stop the video. But yeah, highly recommending the game. Two dollars on GOG right now. The Halloween sale of 2021. Get it. It's totally worth it.